What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet. Live in effect, like I always am. Yo, I'm coming off a very successful weekend. And um, if y'all haven't seen those videos, I need you to go check them out. The Atlanta video and the Charlotte video. Um, the Atlanta video should be out uh, that past Friday. And the Charlotte video should be out on Monday. Uh, but yo, but anyway, enough about that. Yo, today, uh, because it was so successful uh, and um, down there, I need inventory badly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to the roots of where I used to do what I got to do, where I used to get my inventory at, uh, or how I used to get my inventory, not where I used to get my inventory, because I still go to the stores where I get my inventory from. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm out here grinding. I'm on to hit uh, about four to five, maybe six stores today. Uh, I'm doing everything I can, and then tonight, you guys are you guys are not going to be seeing this uh, when uh, it's happening. It's going to be after the fact. But tonight, while I'm recording this, there's a pop up from five to nine with two of my fellow people that do reselling as well. My homeboy Ty from Last Pick and my homeboy Dane from Dope Closet Thrift. And I believe there's one other uh, vendor. I'm not really too sure about that. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm going to try my best to go to their event as well because they might have some steals that I can get too. But let's just get right into it. I'm about 15 minutes away from the first store. And um, you guys are going to see it like right after this, like seconds but it's going to take me a minute to get there. So let's get right into it. And if I don't find anything, I'm going to give you all a recap at the end instead of doing like little clips like, hey, I didn't find it. I didn't find it. I'm not going to do that. Excuse me. I'm going to give you all little clips, uh, give you a recap at the end of everything that I got. But if I did find something crazy, of course, I'm going to film it. So all right, y'all. See y'all soon. I gotta leave these because of the star loss. So, yo, sorry, got to. All right, y'all, to the first store down. Let's go do what we gotta do. What's going on, everybody? So, this is the pickup part of the video. It has been a few days. I've been extremely busy trying to get a lot of inventory for this coming pop-up. Uh, you guys are going to see this probably before the pop-up. I'm not sure. Maybe after. Um, we're going to Charlotte for the sneaker exit. And I got uh, some decent amount, but I, I still need a little bit more. But we'll figure all that out. I'm not, I'm not stressing all that. But so today, we're going to go over the... This pile right here. Everything else is a different video. I, this is one video, and then that's another video. But you guys are going to see this all. I'm just going to change my hat. That's the secret of editing. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. So, let's get right into it. Um, this pile right here, uh, this is probably going to be my... I'm not really sure my cheaper items. Um, but I do have to look them up and see what they are. So, let's just get right into it. So, the first one. NBA champs 2016 got the Adidas right there snapback with the NBA and also got that trophy very clean piece this right here I sold this before for a good amount so I picked this up when I saw it so I was like hey let me try it again all right and I do apologize if this video is long but um that's the goal is to make some of these videos longer than others this next one mountain T size medium y'all see what it is Bill Clinton Monica Lewinsky got the Gators. He's shooting. Got the American flag. Crazy piece. Crazy, crazy, crazy piece. So that's one. This next one, Lee's um, tag. It's nothing crazy. This is a made in Mexico, but it is an older one because it is year uh, 2007. It's not too old, but the year is right there. 2007 on uh, the Cardinals. I uh, got the quarter sleeve. Very clean piece. All right. This one right here is, uh, I just grabbed it because it was a good deal. But um, 
It's a Wisconsin tea, uh, very clean piece as well. All of these I got one day when I was out just shopping. Um, 2012 Donkey Kong tea. 2012 Donkey Kong. Um, and 2012 is right there, but then it has that Super Mario tag. I thought that was pretty dope. This next one, Trashers. Uh... I think that's what it says. The Rashers. The Rashers. Not Trashers. The Rashers. I always get this mixed up. Um, these do pretty well for me. The Thrashers magazine. I grabbed it because it has the snow on it. I haven't seen one like this before. But after looking it up, it's worth about 20 25 bucks. Uh, This is a newer piece. But I grabbed it because you see what it is. If you know that clown, you know you had a crazy childhood. <laughs> this next one is not vintage. But I thought it would be dope for like my $10 rack. So 100% um, hair metal. And I think that says T's at the top. I'm not even sure if that's a real band. Forgive me. Flame me in the comments. Whatever you want to do. Um, this next one is uh, Made in USA Fat Farm. Y'all see that? Made in USA Fat Farm. I thought this was pretty fire, yo. Got the Fat Farm 92, the Authentic with the Bull right there. Pretty fire to me. Especially if it's one of those older pieces. Now, this item has sold already. Um, there's certain items that I post on my story and someone hit me up about this one in particular. Um, and I feel like I gave them a good deal because um, I only seen one other one on eBay. Not eBay. Might have been eBay. I'm not sure exactly where, but I seen one other one. They was asking like 60 bucks. But this is the Days of Our Lives. Um, Days of Our Lives right there. And this is not vintage yet, but it is from 2003. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's focusing. But 2003, so in a few months, this will be a vintage tee. But like I said, that's sold already. Um, this one, crazy story for this one. Um... It's not a crazy tee, so uh, I wanted to see if I can do it off the back. Um, of course, if it was a crazier tee, it probably would not have happened. But I saw this. I asked the guy, could I see the tag? He said yes. Um, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is pretty dope. It might not be worth a lot, but I thought it was kind of fire. So a school of hard knocks, made in USA, 100% cotton large, um, and it has the... Hard, a uh, school of hard knocks right there, five burrows, thorough, and then on the back it has all of that. I don't know exactly what it says, but if you want to, you can pause it, screenshot it, read it. Um, but the only reason why I grabbed this is because the guy told me it was a cool story about it. He basically said that he bought it from Dr. J's in New York 20 some years ago, maybe 30, but he's had it ever since, and I thought it was a pretty dope shirt. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for because it wasn't that much, but at the same time, um, I thought it, I thought it was pretty dope that I was able to do a off the bat. All right. These next three are the last three of the, um, pickups. We got the Jonas brothers, 2008. Y'all see them with the hair and all that. I bet you they embarrassed about this picture now. 2008 back here. Got all the tours, dates, uh, cities that they went to. I'm not even sure if they even came here. They came, the closest they came was Raleigh and Charlotte. Um, so yeah. Oh, Washington. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, Virginia Beach. They did come to Virginia Beach. So there you go. They came to Virginia Beach. Uh, this next one is nothing crazy. Size large on the gilded. I grabbed it because I do well with uh, this type of print. Got the Rasta Lion listening to headphones with the dreadlocks. Pretty insane, if you ask me. And this last one I grabbed because I've never seen a Disney tag on a Delta um, Pro Weight. Uh, it says knitted in USA. I would say that's vintage, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, got the Tigger and the Eeyore, Florida. Um, and I think it says celebrate the magic right there. Pretty insane tee, and it's a neutral tee. Then they don't have their color, so you can wear this with almost anything. So that was that pickup of that video. I appreciate you guys. Actually, no, I got one more. 
this right here. So I already cleaned them up. I'm going to change the laces on them because uh, they're a little crazy. I'm going to see if I can get the creases out and all that. But I think this was pretty dope as well. Found, uh, I think this is a 2011. Let me see if I'm right. I think it is a 2011 women's Nike Dunk size 11 on um, men's size nine and a half. Very clean. Still got the Nike hits on the back. Like I said, um, I got to change the laces, but that's why. But um, like people are rocking it with the, the soles like this anyway. So I grabbed these because I said, why not? So, yo, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. It's been real. Uh, please, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It helps the channel get to where it needs to be. And my goal is hopefully... I could get a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. I know that's possible because I think 75, 80% of y'all are not uh, subscribed to watch the channel. So, yo, all you got to do is hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It's free to do. So, all right, y'all, it's been real. Peace.